I've always been a dreamer since I was a child. I always been writing a lot. I always wanted to tell a story. I wanted to show some emotions. I'm a very visual person. I always wanted to make it true, make it more material, everything that I dream about. So this is not my final dream, this is a step. And any step that you take to your dream, you obviously take it as a huge chance, a huge opportunity to improve yourself, a huge opportunity to reach it there, to get to that place where you want to get. So I feel very comfortable with that. I feel very happy. When people tell me that it's too stressful or that they can't, I guess it's just because they don't really like it that much. They don't really have the motivation. Because when you really love something that you think, nothing is too difficult or too stressful. It just comes naturally. In 20, 40 years from now, I can look at it and it's like the best video you know of your life that you can ever have. It's all those spontaneous moments and emotions and whatever random stuff are happening to you. You can always see this, like how many people can say that they can do it? I mean, I saw many things in my life. Um, I traveled to Tibet, I read Bhagavad Gita, I read Bible and Quran, but this thing, it's weird. It's not like anything else I have ever experienced before. And I used to say that I am nobody and I have nothing and that way people were opening up more to me and they were telling me about their lives more and like being more inviting and I really enjoyed that. When I was a kid I lived in a village and I really enjoyed that whole experience. I love walking the animals and just running around and feel free from all the cares in the world. Not to think about anything, you know, big, not to think what we're gonna do tomorrow. So I was expecting something. When everything is predictable and you live like everyone else lives in, like, you know, like a lot of people live basically. But I want to experience with life. I want to play around with it, if you will. Um, when I was living in London, I was basically the eat party girl of the London party life. I felt like I was missing something at that time. So at some point I realized that I'm actually an introvert and I feel much happier by reading my books and painting and I love taking photo shoots but artistic style. You know, dancing, but like dancing not in the club but dancing in the gym or dancing for myself because I love it. Meditating, all of those things just made me so much happier than all the parties in the world 